All right, quick thing before the video starts. I'm going to be doing this new thing on my channel where I will draw new subscribers. So all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment down below how you want me to draw you. And in the beginning of the next video, I will have a big thing with all the people who subscribed. Hopefully more than two people do it, so it'll actually be a thing. Anyways, enjoy the video. Robotics. I don't know how to start this video. So robotics. In the eighth grade, my school began offering a new course called Blech. robotics, and and I I took the course. Yeah. Now this was probably one of the best classes I've ever taken, mostly because we didn't really have to do anything. But before I can tell you exactly how little I did in this class, you need some background. The entire year was spent working on these Vex robot kit things that we got for school. Basically, like those Lego robot things. You know the you know the. Anyways. Near the beginning of the year, we split into groups that we stuck with for the entirety of the class. Every single day. Every single day. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about my team. First, we're going to start by putting the I in team and talk about me, the only important part of the team. I was the coder, the hacker man, the friend who knows how to put RAM into a computer. Essentially, a majority of the class was like terrified of coding. The most advanced program that we wrote involved making a robot turn when it runs into a wall. Really impressive stuff. My team started with three members. Myself, a guy we're going to call Lego Man for no reason in particular, and a guy we're going to call Chad. The Lego Man was the so-called lead engineer. He was in charge of making the robot and stuff, I think. I, I honestly don't remember. I think Chad did work too. I don't know what he did, but yeah, it, it was the team. I had so much fun working with these guys and also not working with these guys. Every single class consisted of playing video games for at least 30 minutes. Our team was the most competent at engineering. So we were like three classes ahead of every other group. And we ended up playing a lot of video games the teacher could essentially do nothing to stop us. Not only were we the fastest team, but we also just did our work the best. And, you know, we were also the best looking, so. Anyways, let's, let's actually talk about the teacher. I'm gonna call him Mr. Stark, because uh, he is literally exactly how I would imagine Tony Stark to be like if he wasn't rich and he taught robotics in middle school. Mr. Stark was actually a software engineer uh, with uh, some company before he became a teacher. So he, he really knew what he was doing. He, he would tell us that he had to go to other classes, other schools' classes, in order to talk with them about their robotics class. And they essentially had no idea what they were doing. So in a way, that makes our team the best of the best. So at the beginning of every class, Mr. Stark would give a wonderful 30-minute lecture on some random topic. Most of the time, it connected to engineering, but sometimes it was just about absolute garbage. I remember at one point in the year, we talked about sumo wrestling for like a whole week. Just 30 minutes every single class about sumo wrestling. Not to say that his lectures weren't fun. He was actually good at giving lectures and like he had really cool background for engineering. Like he was, he did engineering when C plus, C, C wasn't even a thing. That's crazy. Your mind is just blown. With these lectures, he also imprinted something on me, and he's he's kind of responsible for the reason why I'm racist against uh, technology. Uh, uh, so he would consistently say that artificial intelligence isn't intelligent, and that robots feel nothing, which is true. And I I remember him showing this one commercial for a companion robot, where the woman thanked the robot after the robot helped the woman. And he was like, this is wrong. The robot is nothing more than lines of code running through a processor of cold metal. Uh, this is where the human chauvinism really clicked for me. You're probably wondering how this teacher is so much like Mr. Stark. You may have been imagining some old nerd guy, but that wasn't this guy. That wasn't this guy. I remember one story that he told where he was at like a work lunch event and he bribed a waiter to make somebody's wings very spicy. It might not seem that cool until you realize that the restaurant was Hooters. So, so yeah, that, that reminds me of Tony Stark a lot. All right, we're going to shift gears a little bit and talk about my YouTube channel. I know that's exactly what you want to hear about. In the eighth grade, I started my gaming YouTube channel. It was, uh, you know, it was, it was great. Eventually, my classmates found it. And the only thing worse than posting cringe online is uh, your classmates watching it. 
in the cringe. It was uh, uh, the the Lego man. Believe it or not, he actually had a YouTube channel about Legos. That's crazy. He had like over a thousand subscribers, and he gave me the best advice I've ever received. He said, "If you want to be successful, you have to be competitive, and post five times a day." Anyways, thank you. I that was good advice. So the year progressed with my my dream team, and eventually, just like an anime. We, we collected more characters, which not only increased our diversity, but also our aura. About halfway through, we got a guy that I'm going to call Chad 2. He was pretty cool. I remember one time we were playing Pokemon together, and I destroyed his old, whole team with one, my first Pokemon. I'm, I'm pretty good at video games, what can, what can I say? A little bit later in the year, we got another addition to the team, and you're not going to believe it. It was a girl. There were only like four girls total in the class, so it was kind of a big deal. Uh, we'll, we'll call her Chad 3. So with our final team prepared to destroy, we approached the end of year project. We were tasked to get our robot to pick up some balls and put them into a bucket. Side note, I specifically remember Lego Man trying to program a robot to grab people's balls. This was before Chad 3 was added to the group, mind you. Anyways, so this end of year project was difficult for a number of reasons, mainly because we were instructed to do it in not a very smart way basically we're supposed to tell the robot to do the individual movements like go forward go right blah 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 with this the program only worked on one specific course there was no like autonomy at all so if the robot was started from the wrong position by even a little itty bit the program didn't work at all it's also nice to mention that if the robot wasn't fully charged it wouldn't go the same distance as when it was half charged and the wheels curved why did the wheels curve? I, uh, what? Anyways, it was difficult, it was annoying, it was basically just trial and error. And during this time, Lego Man thought it would be an amazing idea to start modifying the robot. He added arms and garbage, he was gonna add a ping pong ball launcher. He said he was coding for it, I don't believe him, I still, I don't believe him. Mr. Stark walked over and, um, and he noticed something. What is this? Our robot? Robot? <sighs> At the time, Mr. Stark was also on this weird plant kick. Do you know how you can get rich? Let me tell you how you can get rich. Fancy lettuce. You see this fancy lettuce machine? I made it myself. It makes lettuce. He showed us these videos of people who created indoor semi-automatic lettuce farms. He had a lot of like free time in class because it was so much individual work so he just made one of these in class and it was just in the corner of the room a lettuce machine so the final project was due and our robot was able to grab the most balls so uh, yeah not to brag all right thank you so much for watching thank you for watching please subscribe uh this video should be on time hopefully uh if it's not that would be funny <laughs> This, this video was recommended by Chad1. Thank you, Chad1. I couldn't remember, like, a ton of stories just with you, so I'm sorry about that. Maybe we'll do a robotics part two. Nah, just for you. Just for you. Okay. <laughs> All right, bye. Love you.